Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from Boynton Beach. Uh, going through a little drive through here to grab something for uh, Miss Tammy and I. Uh, we're on our way over to her daughter's house in Delray Beach. I'm going to pick up two, not one, two hundos. I got a job. I'm really good at uh, detailing cars. And she has somebody that's detailed her Cadillac Escalade. It's a big vehicle. And I did it once for, for her before. And I told her, if you ever need it done again, you know, I'd appreciate the opportunity if you give me the option. And so she did. She called me up and I agreed. And it's so hot, but they have an air conditioning garage. So I'll make a video doing it. I've got my little scaffolding and everything. Uh, when we get over there, I'm going to take it and get it washed first at a car wash to save myself a little time, get the nice surface clean. And I'm gonna pick up a few more products at Walmart that I need and some more microfiber towels. And we're gonna get busy. So uh, stay tuned for that video coming up. And it's gonna be detailing a 2023 or two uh, Cadillac Escalade 600. It's, it's the nice one. And I gotta do the interior and exterior plus tire shine for um, 200 good deal for her good deal for me all right stay tuned okay everybody here's that beast that i said i'm going to be detailing i'm getting ready to drive it down to the car wash first uh before i uh, put it in the air-conditioned garage that's very comfortable in there this is going to be very comfortable for me because right out here oh boy it is so cooking hot and it's a beautiful uh, escalade and it has uh the, the grandkids' car seats back here, Scour and Savannah. And I'm going to have to vacuum everything. They have an unlimited vacuum at this car wash. And uh, the outside will be done. And then I'll come back and do the waxing. I bought a, um, uh, what do you call, a um, orbiter buffer at Harbor Freight that I'm going to be using to apply the wax. These are all electric right here. They go down like this. I guess she pulled the seats back, so I'm gonna leave them up. You have to move those captain chairs that are in the rear. All right. It's a very nice vehicle to drive. It's got a lot of power compared to my 4Runner. It's the uh, Escalade 600. It's got the black wheels. Beautiful truck, and when I get done with it, you'll see the beautiful job I do with the Sarasota Tim Wax job. Definitely gonna crush it for her. And then uh, I'll show you right in here. It's an air conditioned, it's so cold. Here's a, here's a remote, and let me turn these lights on in here. I'll probably walk right by it. Oh, here they are, duh. You guys probably saw them, didn't you? There we go. Nice and bright, and I'm going to put the uh, Escalade in here, and I've got my little scaffolding that I use to stand on to get up, up top with it. i got plenty of electrical outlets here. There is uh, extension cords here, and I'm just going to have a good time detailing this 2022, 3, whatever it is, Cadillac. Beautiful, beautiful truck. All right, let's get at it. We're going to Zip's Car Wash. Let's see if we can start this thing. You can't hide money. Oh my goodness. I drove it for uh, a few days uh, one time before and I just forget all the buttons, but it's so much roomier and bigger than the um, Forerunner I got. She does have this seat kind of jammed up on me. Let me relax a little bit and drop down and uh, come back some. Look at all this. You can change all that to different dashes. It's got this cool shifter. It doesn't actually move. It's just a kind of an electronic thing here, but um, <laughs> all kind of stuff. All right, let me get acclimated. We got 8,600 miles on this car. That's all we got. And it's got everything. 
It's got a big uh, moonroof job here too, but without my seat rights, I really can't tell you. This whole thing right here opens up all the way back for a sky roof. So it's really nice. I'll, I'll show you some of that later. Let me get to the car wash. Oh, and uh, quickly before I go, right in here, there's a wireless charger. You just stick any kind of a phone right down here. And my iPhone 13 does have wireless charging. You just sh stick it right in. And uh, it tells you on the dash if you're connected. And you don't have to, you know, use one of them cigarette lighter jobs. Although she's got one. <laughs> I think I'll go with this anyway. Go ahead and plug it in. All right, here we go. Me again before I leave. I had the most difficult time trying to figure out. There's a button on the side here, a button here to go to park. And I just forgot how to do it all. The Mercedes have these kind of things too, these electronic shifters. But I have this awesome backup camera and a roof camera. I'm parked in a breezeway, you can see right here. And there is the uh, the backup. Now I won't hold my phone when I drive it. I will show you guys the coolness of a backup camera and how you can just see the sides there. Isn't that neat? You have no way of making a problem. See there? Look at that. <laughs> All right, we're safe now. Didn't drive. Oh, it just grabbed my seatbelt and pulled me in. You can smell, you can smell. You can feel the smoothness before you even get out of the driveway. The weight and the bigness of the, uh, the size of this vehicle. And I'll tell you, it's really nice car. All right, we'll get right back to you. And uh, before I get out of here, and uh, you guys get on to me about driving and hold my phone, I'm still in the neighborhood. I just had to make one more comment. I have air conditioned seats. I feel air conditioning in my tush, in my back. I mean, this is awesome. This has every feature you know, known I think you can get in a car today. Really appreciate it. I wouldn't want to have to fix anything if it broke, but uh, we're getting ready to leave the subdivision now. It's a very small subdivision. Uh, a bunch of beautiful homes in here. Multi-million. <laughs> so here we go. Let me show you the, the gate here that's gonna open up. Now we're putting the phone down and we're out of here. All right, we're in the car wash. I folded her mirrors in for her. And they have a great deal here, but I said, well, this is not my car, but I would consider for my forerunner. Please God, don't let anything happen. <laughs> these are kind of a chamois material, these uh, brushes or rags that uh, run across. These are not nylon bristles. It's a soft chamois uh, type material. But it's just too hot and I didn't want to get water spots on it, washing it at home out in the back of the garage. And this will dry it. This is a $12 wash. I did not get any tire dressing or wax or anything because of course I'm gonna do all that. This is just to, uh, and we can see that the hood, the water is not beating, so it does need some wax. And I'll go over to the uh, vacuums after this and vacuum it real good before going back home. Here comes the vacuums. I mean, the uh, blowers. Look at that. In one minute, what would have took me forever to do. to the uh, vacuums now. 
All right, let me show you guys when I open the door. Look down here at the running boards. And this this um, car wash has some cool features besides the unlimited vacuum. You get these, uh, it's somewhere over here, there's uh, free uh, towels right over here. There's free spray bottles and towels for the glass. And there's even a blower right here. Look at this. So that's kind of cool. So let me go get some towels. There's the uh, there's the truck all cleaned up. Sorry about the noise. There's a big vacuum right here next to me. But she's looking good already. Much better. Wait till I get done with it. Well, the first place I went over there where that Escalade is, another one, uh, there's, there's no um, vacuum hose right here. It was disconnected from that pipe right there. So I came over here and I vacuumed it all out. There has to be some rubbing and cleaning when I get back with the garden hose and some spray cleaner and all the dusting and everything in here, all the doors, all of the interior will be, will be cleaned. Look at this, it has a heads up display. Can you guys see the speedometer uh, right there where my finger is? Right there, you, when you're driving, you can see it's called a heads up display. It's got that too. So let's get back to the house. It was so hot out there vacuuming this thing. Thank goodness it wasn't too bad. Only took a few minutes, but I'm gonna go in the garage now, back at the house in the AC, and we're gonna start to clean this baby up on the outside. I've got some chemical guys, wax, and a new uh, buffer that I bought at Harbor Freight. We're gonna try it out. I'll give you guys a review on that too. So just to show you guys, Zip's car wash, this is what it looks like before I get out here on the road. It's really busy. All those vacuuming areas right there and free rags. I mean, look, there's a guy with a Porsche that went through there. It's perfectly safe. It's always a chance, but Zips Car Wash Express. There's a car coming through now. This one is located at 3008 Congress Avenue in Boynton Beach. And they have a promotion where it's uh, $11 the first month. This guy's coming in 100 miles an hour. And then they bump you to a certain price and you can go down and all that. But anyway, somebody going down, I'm gonna put down this phone. We'll see you back at the house. All right, I made it in the garage and there's that sky roof. I don't know how I did that. I think I got a little button right here. That closes that. And that opens it. How do I close that roof again? Oh, that takes that all the way back. Stop, come back. <laughs> we'll figure out how to close this headliner. There it comes. Like I said, folks, you just can't hide money. <laughs> All right, let's begin the detailing. Wax job. All right, everybody. Here's my new toy. It's the Drill Master from uh, Harbor Freight. That's a 10 inch, 120 volt, random orbiter polisher waxer. And it comes with uh, nothing, just the machine. And I purchased, uh, it came with one buffing pad. So I bought this separate um, right here. That I got the two-piece 10-inch polishing uh, bonnets. Now, the one I have on there is for applying the wax. It's a very ergonomic handle. And it shows it's spinning, but it actually doesn't spin. It's more of an orbiter. And um, let me straighten out my little bonnet right there a little bit. But uh, it's a 10-inch. looks like it's going to cover some area pretty good. And I got my little scaffling here that I brought from Harbor. Uh, I bought this a long time ago from Harbor Freight. It's a 40 inch uh, work platform. And it really comes in handy on getting up on these uh, big tall vehicles such as this Escalade. So anyway, guys, let's uh, got the extension cord here. Got my thing ready to go. Today I'm gonna be using 
two products uh, for the paint. I'm going to try this spray wax from Chemical Guys, and it's a, um, a Blazer Banana. So we're going to try that out. And then I have also the, uh, the other product down here. This is what I'm going to use to apply the uh, tire dressing, which I bought some Meguiar's Hot, hot Shine uh, Tire Foam. I like the foam that you put on. And I bought a whole bunch of uh, new uh, microfiber towels here. So we got plenty of those, brand new ones. And then this is the, of course, the wet look butter wax from Chemical Guys. So Meguiar's and Chemical Guys and the Harbor Freight Drill Master 10-inch uh, Random Orbiter. Orbital. Let's see how this works. Let's get at it. I'm going to try some of the butter wax now, uh, especially on the top of the car where it gets most of the sun. And I think this is going to be a little a better shine. And All right, let me just show you guys how this is going down. As you can see, this orbiter is beautiful. Uh, no risk of swirl marks or scratching or anything on this black paint. Nice soft bonnet. Looks really nice. Very quiet, very smooth. All right, now let's take some, a couple of our, our, what do we do with them? Where was the two? Oh, here they are. Right here, let's see if, when we pull this off, what it looks like. I do have that polishing bonnet that came with the two piece. You know, I could actually pull this wax off with the machine. And that might be a good idea. And then go over it with this a little bit more. And that little platform here is awesome. You can step up on it like that. I wish it was better lighting in here. When I go outside, you're gonna really see the difference. <laughs> you guys just get done swimming? Well, he can't play. He can't play. I got my hair cut. You are really a good waxer. You waxing mommy's truck. Cut, cut, cut. Oh. Wow, look how shiny. He's got to finish that, and then he can play with Good you. Good job. Good job, Scott. You just get done swimming? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Look, you can see your face in there. It's so shiny. I got my granddaughter here helping me out. This is Savannah. She's three years old. She's working the orbital. Go ahead, honey. I can't eat it too wide, though. I can't do it. Shiny. You're making it shiny. She's cleaning mommy's truck. This one. Let me see. Let me show this one. This one's gonna help too. This one's Skylar. Skylar wants to do it for a second. They turn just, it on, Skylar. They just got out of the pool. Look, They're Skylar knows how to turn it on too. Turn it on, baby. All right, shine that truck. Push it against the truck. Hi. All right. She said mine. <laughs> Whoa, don't go too fast. Oh. Go slow, baby. Go slow. Get up there a little closer. There you go. Now you're doing it. Boy, you're a good detailer. <laughs> it's, it, it's stuff for the truck. It's stuff for your mommy's car. So let me uh, let me just tell everybody out there who you guys are. Hang on. I'm going to pop going to finish. Oh. I'm really, this thing is really working good. Um, all right, you can help me, but first, let me tell you about who you are. Her hair's all wet. What's she just got name? out of the... What's your name? Stop. Oh, mess up my hair. <laughs> this is Savannah, and she's three years old. She's really cute. Now, let me introduce Skylar. Come here, Skylar. This is Skylar. She's a little girl. 
<laughs> and she, she going to mess with Pop Tim's hair too. Ow! They like to mess with my hair. So she's two years old. She's going to have a birthday party next week yeah. at a place. You guys love Pop Tim? <laughs> they want to play with the machine now. No. They just I, came back from go. swimming or something. Yeah, right? they're all wet. They just... Oh, hey, hey. They just got done swimming. Right, be careful, girl. Yeah. All right. We're going to get All right. They're animals. <laughs> we got to get back in. Thanks for viewing, everybody. We'll get back to you when the job's done. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Let me turn it around. I'll let you do it in a minute, Scott. Let, let her do it first. I'll let you... All right, everybody. There's the finished product. I uh, went over it with that orbital and... Uh, Polished it and waxed it and did the tires, got the glass, everything. Looking pretty good. Walking around here. I was able to bring it out of the garage to check for any imperfections in the paint. I'll back out here in a second. I have um, got to clean this back window here yet, actually. Let me back out now. Here we go. Did the tires. No swirl marks, nothing. Perfect. It's a pretty truck. I would say I crushed it.